castle's been set upon by a giant. Oh no! I warned you! Why didn't you do anything? I don't make policy. I only carry it out. And I warned you that you can't count on a royal family to solve your problems. I think it best we go back to the village. I wouldn't be in such a rush if I were you. Guess which path the giant took to the castle. Oh no. What? All that's left in my garden is this little sack of beans. There's not much left of your house either. But I hear giants never strike the same house twice. You heard wrong. the lad who killed my husband. There is no lad here! We haven't seen him! I want the lad who climbed the beanstalk. We'll get him for you right away, don't move! It was you who destroyed our house, not a great wind! It's because of you I have no mother! And who destroyed my house? That boy asked for shelter, and then he stole our gold, our hand, and our heart. Then he killed my husband. I must have been the wrong duty. We are not responsible for him. You're wasting your breath. She's right. You can't reason with the dumb giant. Not all giants are dumb. Give me the boy. Told you, he's not here. The girl is telling the truth. I know he's there, and I'm going to wait right here until he's delivered to me. The giant, who was nearsighted and lost her glasses, remained convinced that she had found the lad. There was no consensus among them as to which course of action to take. Put a spell on her. I no longer have my powers. If I did, do you think I'd be standing here with all of you? No. You have to give her someone. Who? Oh, the steward. It's in his line of duty to sacrifice his life. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not giving up my life for anyone. Don't take it personally. I'm waiting. You must understand, these were not people familiar with making choices. Their experiences in the woods had in no way prepared them to deal with a force this great. Excuse me, but would you like a blind girl instead? <laughs> How dare you! Put them out of their misery! <laughs> we're not that miserable. How could you say that? She doesn't want a woman! Fine. Then what do you suggest we do? I'm still waiting. It is interesting to examine the moral issue in question here. Finality of stories such as these two takes. Sorry, I tell the story. I'm not part of it. That's right. You're not one of us. You're always on the outside. Observer to pass the story along. Well, some of us don't like the way you've been telling it. <laughs> if you drag me into this mess, you'll never know how your story ends. You'll be lost. Wait. He's the only one who knows the story. Do you think it will be fun when you have to tell it yourselves? Think of you, baby. Stop, he's right. Let him go. Put that away! <laughs> That's better. You don't want to live in a world of chaos. There must always be as we ah! Here's the lad! I'm not the lad! This is not the lad. I am not the lad! Why did you push him into her arms? You wanted to do the same thing too. You might have thought of something else. If it were up to you, a decision were never to be made. 